Now, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Let us do example number two. X Y Z Limited issued ten years, ten percentage bond of rupees hundred each, at a premium of fifteen percentage. It matures at a premium of twenty percentage. If tax rate is forty percentage, find out cost of debt. Assume flotation cost is equal to how many percentage? Five percentage. So first of all, you have to find out the components of the question. Number one, you have to find out I. Is I is equal to ten percentage? Ten percentage of hundred. So ten percentage of hundred, it becomes simply ten. Right. Second, you have to find out T. T is equal to tax and tax is forty percentage. Zero point four. Right. That's it. Next, you have to find out in B. In B means how much you sold out this one. See, it is mentioned 10 percentage bond of rupees 100 each at sold each at the premium of equal to how much? One at the premium of 15 percentage. It means 100 plus 15 percentage of 100, right? So that is why again 100 into, into how many percentage? Into 15 percentage. Why this is so? Because we the price of this one was 100, but we sold it at 15 percentage premium. So if you sold at 15 percentage premium, so the actual price plus 15 percentage of that one. So if you do like this, it becomes the same. 15 percentage of 100 plus how much? Plus 100. So it's equal sign, you get equal to 100 each. So that is NP. How much is MV? See, it is mentioned. It matures at fifth, it matures at premium of 20 percentage. It is issued at premium of 20, uh, 15, but it matures at premium of 20 percentage. So it is good. So matures at premium of 15, 20 plus. So become the same as the previous one. Multiply to, multiply to how much? Multiply to 20 percentage, right? So press the equal sign, you get something. So it means maturity value is equal to 120, right? What else is remaining? Number of years. Number of years is equal to 10. What else? Flotation cost, right? Flotation cost. Flotation cost is equal to equal to how many percentage? Equal to five percentage. So flotation cost is equal to five percentage. So this one also should be minus from where? From NP. So we have to do one more calculation for NP. NP is equal to 115, right? 115 minus 115 into how many percentage? Into five percentage, right? Into five percentage. Press the equal sign, you get some value. How much is the amount? One hundred nine point two five. So this is the value that we can read. Now you can apply the formula, right? From where you can get the formula? From the formula can be taken from here itself, right? You can take it. So copy the formula, right? So okay, there is no specific formula. So let me take the let me copy the formula. Let me copy here itself. Yeah, this was the formula. Now you can apply in the formula itself. Put the value and then you can calculate it. I, how much is I? I is just simply equal to 10. Mention 10. So instead of this one, let me do one more step or simply reduce the steps. 1 minus 0 0.4. If you minus 0 0.4, you get equal to uh 0 0.6 the result is 0 0.6 right so do here so n is equal to 10 right the next one as mv mv is equal to how much mv is equal to 120 but np is equal to how much np is equal to 109.25 this is the value so put the value here as well, 120 plus how much? 109.25, right? This is the amount. So then copy this one again. Okay. Then copy here itself, this one itself. Then find out the value. So if 10 multiply to this one, you get equal to 60 itself. Uh, 6 itself. So if you multiply to this one, you get 6 only. 
you get how much only six then this one you need a few more calculation 120 minus this one so let me do here 120 minus 109.25 press the equal sign you get some value equal to 10.78 if 10.7 okay do it let us do it here otherwise there will be confusion minus this one you got how much 10.75 is the value of this part if you sum up this to how much will you get if you sum up this to you get a value that is equal to how much press the equal sign you get 229.25 if you sum up this to you get 229.25 this is the value right so let us do one more step right so now this value divided by 10 and plus 1 if you divide it if you divide this value by 10 you get 1.075 right and if you multiply if you divide this one by 2 why because it should be multiplied this one multiply okay this one should be divided by how much by 2 press the equal sign you get some value let's bring it so okay press it down 229 divided by 4 which is equal to how much equal to 112 so instead of this mention here 100 114.625 right this is the amount so please what do one more step or instead of this formula so apply the next point kd is equal to equal to how much one plus this one becomes seven point something become seven point zero seven five divided by divided by how much one hundred fourteen point six two five then multiply two hundred right whatever result you get basically that is the cost that is equal to six point something like that so this is the cost of capital for the example number for the example number two